Hi, this is Sir David again. Just came out an hour or two ago. If you've been following my videos at all, you're an idiot. <laughs> I uh, gave a report on the nine-story building that the Mormon Church wanted to put down in a residential neighborhood up by the uh, Provo Temple in Provo, Utah. Now, <clears throat> the church is usually just does what it damn well pleases. Uh, the only time the church gets revelation is when it starts to lose money or it gets sued. Those Jesus comes right out of the bushes at that point. They argued and argued and argued with the Provo City Council and the members of the neighborhood that took up a petition and said a nine-story building is not for a neighborhood. It was an expansion of the missionary training center that the Mormon church said it had to have. It, Jesus came right down and says, we're going to fill the world with missionaries. We need a nine-story building. Well, it went on and on with the argument for several months, if not a year, and finally the Mormon church wrote a hate letter to the uh, state presidents uh, in the area. Now. I've been up there a million times. There's the Provo Temple and then setting off uh, from the side of the Provo Temple across the road is um, a, a chapel that is like no other chapel in the world. It, got, it looks like the Sistine Chapel uh, because there's rich Mormons up there and they deserve better buildings. And then the MTC lays down across the, um, the uh, grassy knoll <laughs> of the temple and uh, be that as it may, they argued and argued, and those uh, residents in that neighborhood have money. They've always had money. That's why the temple uh, was built up there. Well, the residents told the church, "Screw you! We don't want a nine million or a nine-story building uh, in our neighborhood because the prices of our houses are going to go down." Well, the church read a letter from the state presidents to those uh, uh, wards in that area and said, "Knock the shit off." tear up that uh, petition and any of you that are involved in that petition bend over and kiss your ass goodbye you're not going to be Mormons much longer we'll, we'll excommunicate you so the truth of the matter is it went uh, and got approval from the Provo City Council and the church got their way now here's what's happening to the Mormon church all over the world the internet is killing the Mormon church. Ordinary people like me can hit the news within 30 seconds. And you know what? I have to tell you, I'm at 169 countries. I picked up five new countries here just in the last 30 days looking at my video. I guess those third world people don't have anything to do. I love them. I love them. And they always want to know more about the Mormon temples and sex. They love sex in those foreign countries. Well, so do the Utah. That's my fam famous uh, hits in Utah, sex. Anyway, um, the Mormon church got its way. So we were just waiting for the uh, road graders and the uh, bulldozers to come in and knock the shit out of uh, that neighborhood. Well, KSL News, owned by the Mormon church, today, I think today is Friday, uh, announced it decided not to build the nine-story building. Did you hear that? After all the clearances, all the threats, and the excommunications, and all of the power, 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 we can do what we want, they got their way. And the neighborhood had to shut their mouths, bow their heads and say yes, and the petition drive went into the poop, poop chute, and now the Mormon church comes forward quietly. See, it was front page when it was new and they're building and building. It's on the, not the front page of the desert news. It just says, quietly. <clears throat> A nine-story building, that thing had to be, I don't know, $50 million to build that. Quietly, they're not going to build it now. Now, do I know? Yeah, my, my six angels, the little uh, naked girls that come down with wings on, and uh, I haven't looked at their wings much, but I think there's wings there, have given me a, another revelation. And that is this. Those are tithe payers up there. 
those are heavy, heavy tithe payers. Now, even Mormons, I was going to say, aren't that stupid. <laughs> I'm going to retract that. <laughs> Mormons can be very stupid, but you know what? When they get bullied, they just don't write that check out. And the church traces that like a divining rod. And it came right down in that neighborhood going, holy shit, we just lost a million dollars a month coming out of those neighborhoods up there. Maybe we shouldn't build that. Oh, and by the way, we're getting such shit in the world, we're not going to need that many more missionaries. We may even pull the missionary training program out of the church because everybody hates us for knocking on their doors and it does make us look a lot, uh, a lot desperate. And so now the Mormon church is not going to build that building. So if you, those of you in Iraq and Iran and Saudi Arabia and uh, Brazil and Argentina and, um, oh my God, Mongolia and... Uh, I should have listed them this time. It's really funny. I don't know why these people... How do they... They don't even speak English, I don't think. So anyway, congratulations to the neighborhood and for the Mormons who silently withheld their tithing checks, scared the hell out of the Mormon hierarchy, and the Mormon hierarchy backed off, just like they did with David Tweed in Orlando, Florida. They were going to excommunicate him for saying negative things about Romney. It went viral and the Mormon church backed off. The church bowed its head and said, we're sorry. You'll never hear those words out of a Mormon authority in your life. We're sorry. So anyway, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was uh, 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 reportable. And for those of you that don't live in Utah, you don't know these things are going on. It's the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. There's five billion dollar malls being built with a member's money. And there's a, a apostasies and screwing little kids and high sexual crimes. Nobody knows that unless they watch the new caribou. Thanks.